And in today's car video, we're learning about lemurs. You watch now, it won't start. Don't fall in love with the car. Don't fall in love with the car. Don't fall in love with the car. Right, I'll tell you all about it and then um, we'll crack on. I'm not doing BMX jousting. I'm showing you a BMW 728. A plethora of electronic problems. I get excited about all the cars I buy. But this one, ho ho! <laughs> It might be missing Ooh, a prop shaft. That's a Jeff car. Yeah. And I did dent the bonnet, but if you're gonna take the roof rack on your own, using no tools except a spanner that's the wrong size and a three wheel skateboard, you're gonna have some problems. Prop shaft with the viscous coupling in the middle. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, yeah. Is. I don't want lane assist. I don't want adaptive cruise control. I don't want adaptive damping. I don't want adaptive anything. That's the best seat though, isn't it? Yes, good seat. Are we mad for wanting simplicity from our cars? You have got into cars with strangers you met on the internet. Exactly, exactly. Yay for the It's 2020s. like Tinder for men, but not like with the outcome of yeah. Tinder. We got tire squeal. Yes. And it's purple. Oh, I bloody love it. But if you are locked in the boot, you can't open the boot from the inside, which is weird because you can on an old Volvo. Let's just uh, turn the blowers on, shall we? Ready? One, two. Drink and four. Nothing. No heat. No nothing. So we have a manual defrost, also known as this cloth. I'd imagine he's already been arrested somewhere around Worcestershire because I said, "Are you going for a coffee?" And he said, "No, I'm going for a drive first. And then I heard him leave. Right. Okay. <laughs> it says there's an armrest. There's no armrest. I've been had. I mean, let's not talk about the fact that the ride is horrible and it needs some brakes on it. This is going well. So now that you've seen it, what do you reckon? <laughs> I don't like the feel of this gear knob. Now, I'm, I don't know much about Volvos, but I'm fairly confident that's not the factory original uh, filler cap, is it? Oh my gosh, this is my new surf wagon, isn't it? Look at this in the back. It's so bad. Ooh, it's worse than that 960 I bought and I haven't even shown you that video yet. That was terrible. Do the boot struts work? If the boot struts work, then I'm keeping it. Oh, bugger. I lost again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep this car. That's not a nice gear knob, I'll tell you why. It's too much like an actual knob. There's a goat. Car, I'm just gonna put my wipers on. Yeah, that's a problem. Hello, Mr. Goat. Which is generally a very lovely car. Bugger! I didn't want to like this car! I didn't want to like it! Jeff buys cars and this is my Volvo V70 SE. Yeah. Do you like Volvos? <laughs> it's definitely big enough to camp in. Which is good. That's amazing, ain't that? Christ. That is ridiculous. Are you impressed? Very impressed. Oh, Repping the t-shirt and everything. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fanboy or what? Um, so I think what we're about to do is, uh, if not right now, then later, we're going to move these rear seats into the back of the race car because obviously the last thing a race car needs is a seven seat conversion. So the first thing I'm going to do to my race car is a seven seat conversion because I just believe it's so wrong that it needs doing. And there's still people commenting on the YouTube saying, oh, are you going to strip the seats out? No, I'm going to put more in. We've been having coffee and we were playing Play-Doh at the same time and it was all going really well up until the point that that happened, which was a total accident, wasn't it, mate? But it was pretty funny. That is a timeless shape, that is. That is a nice looking car. I am in the sea. You don't make them like that anymore. You do videos online. You do like OnlyFans for middle-aged blokes who like I know, cars. yeah. This is why YouTube keeps saying to me, you know, you could be charging your fans. And I'm like, yeah, but there's a demographic for people that do that. Yeah. Mrs. Jeff, could you kindly repeat what you said to me when I just said to you, I'm thinking about buying a purple Chrysler PT Cruiser. What were your exact words? Shove it up your ass. <laughs> she goes all right, doesn't she? Oil pressure, not bad. Temperature, too low. Fuel, not great. That warning light, 
Not good. The 400 pounds, can you really go wrong? It's got seven seats, a petrol engine, heaters, and a radio. That actually had to lie. It doesn't have a radio. Just a very, very clean and tidy, honest car. I say I could just pull my knob right off there. Um, so, if you want to get your car nice and hot, you've got to mess with your knob. Broken knob. Secondly, sunroof. It's an old car, the sunroof obviously leaks. So this morning, when I went down a hill, all the water ran down this channel, came straight out of this corner, directly onto my crotch. Broken knob, wet crotch. It's got the 750i badge included. Um, just all this shit to sort out. One, two, I've lost a shoe. Three, four, five, six, seven. Stop the clock. That's a sunrise, that is. Oh, look at that. And how, how much do you think these are? Well, one sale the moment for real. Three, 360 pounds. That's a lot of money, isn't it, for a steering wheel? A steering wheel. Yeah, considering my car was 450 pounds. I don't think I'll sell this one. Did you knock on the window to get me to let you out? <laughs> Come on, how are you going? I knocked on the window to get us out. I'm not your servant. <gasps> I know, I know. Genuine as well, genuine. I like a sunrise more than I like a sunset. Oh yes, I'm happy about that. What an unexpected day. You have a space saver spare, I have a full size spare. Do you want my full size spare? Because with seven seats, well, yeah, you can it doesn't fit. Size. So we can swap wheels if you want. I have got a full size one of these wheels. Have you? Yeah, it's just hidden at work at the moment. Fair so enough. I could use that. Um, I don't mind, I'm happy to take your space saver if you want my full size spare, because it doesn't fit in there with the seatbelt bracket for the back seats. Yeah. All right, I'll swap, I'll swap wheels as well. Perfect. Job done. I'll buy them some pudding. 200,000 miles, one owner from new, and, um, oh, hello. Don't know what that is. That's interesting, isn't it? That's free, Mike. And I pick up a BMW for less than two grand, and I feel like I've won the lottery. Sorry, I know this is meant to be Jeff buys cars and sells them and makes a profit, but I really like this car. There we are. If it breaks down on the way home, I expect to see that on Instagram before I get a text message or a phone call. I really like this car and I think it's great for winter. Yeah, they absolutely rang the shit out of it up the hill. Like. Despite the fact that the only documentation it has is a V5 and a receipt for some tracking, but I love the car. Be more prepared, Jeff. And whoever leaves the funniest comment will win things that I find on my journey. Like... This broken number plate. I've been walking that long, I am now losing the plot. I want some new sunglasses, but I think they're women's glasses. It just doesn't seem to make sense to me. You get it serviced, you put the paperwork within the file for the car, and you put all of that in the same place. When you sell the car, it goes with the car. It's not that hard, is it? You have got a nice face. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got... A... <laughs> oh, I got sneezed on by an alpaca. Uh, is that bad? Ugh. Well, I'm not so worried about coronavirus, but I am a lot more worried about alpaca spit in the face. Is it poisonous? Can it blind you? I don't think it can, can it? It's not a python. Right, I'm gonna go home and research alpacas and um, then I'm gonna post this video up. And if I'm dead by the morning, you'll know that alpacas are venomous. I don't need a car that's got 16 different settings for the lighting on the inside. I don't need a car where I can adjust the, the color of the LEDs on the display. That's definitely gonna be broken in 10 years time. We're living in a completely backwards culture, aren't we? It's not about longevity, it's not about saving the planet, it's about fucking selling cars on finance so your neighbours can see what you've got.
YouTube's most boring car channel.